Hi, what's up, guys? My name is Tutu. This is Crash 500 Index. Uh, I, I, of course, the analysis is on daily time frame. You can see, uh, on this price has been buying. Yeah, just look at, just look at it. It's whole candles. One, two, three, four. Price is to the upside. It's an uptrend. Get. Let me proceed to the next time frame you can see i i, I told you guys a price is to the upside right here you can see what we have okay let me delete this and use another arrow okay price is to the upside you can see it you can see right right here is an this is a clear uptrend so right now after identify the trend of the market we need to you know uh draw our key levels at the fire key levels uh, i made i want to tell you something if you can't uh use your candlesticks to identify your key levels properly you just change your chart to line chart for you to see levels properly so right now i've changed my chart to line chart i can see my levels properly and this is one uh, so this is another level right here you can see that okay you can see that meanwhile uh, price has been a down trend to the downside and um, price broke broke our trend line price broke our trend line here and the trend of the market changed to uptrend after breaking our trend line right now we're in the uptrend you get it so i'll change my can my chart to candlestick you can see what we have here so let me just proceed to the next the next time frame wow 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 this is awesome you can see right now so what uh we just have two things right here to watch out for price is approaching our our level you see that price hits this level and you know after hitting that level come to the downside it's a it's a two-way thing or price breaks our structure give us a nice retest a price break our structure give us a nice a clear retest sorry a clear retest before proceeding for continuing to the upside yeah so like two things we should be expecting and uh, we want to see and crash 500 i don't advise you, you you take or other advice you partake in any trade when you trade this you know has not gotten to your key level wait patiently for price to get to your key level it doesn't mean it doesn't matter that's why it said that those that are patient are those that are capable of uh you know trading the forest market just wait patiently for you to see that price has gotten to your key level before you take part uh this is a uh, analysis for crash 1000 is the daily time frame you can see right here right now that a price has been in a downtrend just look at this massive candle this bearish candle you can see that price has been pulling down to the downside you can see it going to the downside so uh what we what we want right now is we want to okay, go to the next time frame four hour time frame and identify our key levels in the market and this is our key level boom you can see that uh -huh, this is our key level uh our most recent low and uh i of course draw our most recent high this is our most recent high here in the market in the market and uh price has broken our structure right here and the four hour time frame you can see that price has broken our structure but and so what do we want to see right here what do we want to see we want to see that price is giving us a, a clear retest we're testing a, a, a level before going to the downside yes we're testing our level before going to the downside this is what we should be looking out for meanwhile the overall trend of the market is to the downside it's to the downside you get it so 
price is to the down to the downside even without drawing your trend line you should be able to identify uh the trend of the market you know i my price action i trade majorly breakout and retest yeah focus on breakout and retest you get it a lot of people they have their own way of trading um with price actions and you know my own way is i just wait patiently for a breakout then i'll get a retest wait for the price action would I, 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 i'm waiting for the candlestick to form either bullish or bearish and goffy pattern pin bar you get it or doji dragonfly just mention it so i'll wait patiently for me to see those you know triggers before i enter the market and right, now we'll proceed to the one hour time frame you can see right here is the same thing we're talking about so price has broken our structure and what are we anticipating we're anticipating for a, a, a retest right now we want price to retest our level before pulling to the downside yeah before taking part in this sell you get it right now price is spiking massively to the downside on boom one thousand this is the price action a, a strategy trading a boom and crash without indicators this is a very simple and also a profitable strategy that everyone should also learn how to go about you get it so if you are good uh, analyzing the market uh, doing, doing your technical analysis it's a big plus and boom and crash respects price action and it respects structure you get it i majorly use three time frames for my analysis i used i start with h4 or i can also check the overall trend of the market on the daily time frame i check the overall trend on the daily time frame uh, adjust my structure on h4 check through my h1 make my entries from 15 m5 or m1 yeah but the time frame i'm comfortable with making entries using price action strategy is uh m15 and m5 but without wasting much of a time let me just go straight to the point right here i uh, will start okay with the daily time frame you can clearly see that price is in a downtrend price sorry price is in a downtrend here you can see this this is a clear downtrend price is going to the downside on boom 1000 and whenever price is in a downtrend you'll be looking for selling opportunities and when price is in an uptrend you should be looking for buying opportunities you get it so let us move straight to the next time frame and see how things are going right now okay this is what we have here i have reduced the level of my of my charts so that i can see properly let me adjust my trend line you know trend line act as a guide for you to be able to identify the trend of the market clearly even without a trend a trend line you can also identify the direction of the market you get it and also after drawing your trend lines you identify your key levels in the market understand you identify your key levels in the market your key levels are your support and resistance levels when you're able to identify your key levels you use this this support and resistance or resistance tool to identify your key level i can see price created a high here this is more more of a sideways okay, i won't just i won't call it a sideways market and also price created a low here you can see it you can see price created a low here right here and price is approaching this low down here and uh, right here i'm going to proceed to the next to the next time frame you know combining your support and resistance with your trend line also gives you a a, a better a better site for you know seeing chart patterns um what uh, whether it's uh of um what, what are they call chart patterns fully wedge rising wedge you get it a lot of uh, ch chart patterns 
you can also at it from when you're able to identify your chart patterns you wait for the breakouts and retests before you take part in the market now this is what we've got right here you can see you can see right now so what we'll be anticipating right now the current price of the market we want to see price either going to the upside from here from this point this point here because price has gotten to this point see that price continue on going to the upside that's you you'll be you'll be getting ready to buy or the price doesn't do that this is what we should be anticipating again price will break out of the structure and give us a clear retest retest that uh, level then also after giving us a clear retest going back going to the downside you get it this is this is the two the our two anticipation it's either price get the price has got it to that level it's either price go back or come to the upside or or it does the other or, or, or other alternative you get it this is a very very simple uh strategy and you know with this price action you'll be able to one identify the trend of the market uh you'll be able to you know identify chart patterns you, you should be able to draw your support and resistance clearly your trend lines perfectly and uh, you can see our trend line here this was our first touch up there this was our second touch here and if price uh break if price you know if price hit this okay price has hit this uh, level right here and if price continues going up and breaks this our uh, trend line you know, we, we we can clearly say that uh price you know the trend of the market might change from downtrend to uptrend because price has broken the trend line and also it has broken this our high high level right here and giving us a smooth uh, and clear retest before going to the upside yeah that means price might change the trend of the market now this is what we should be expecting right now right now yeah just watch closely just stick to this to this um to this uh pair called boom 1000 just stick to it and watch how how it plays so price has gotten to this place for you to um you know take part in this trade you need to see a clear price action is taking place you know check your candlestick pattern whether it's in coffee candlestick pattern um uh, what, what was it called pin bars doji uh -huh. so those are uh, entry triggers those are candlestick patterns that make us that that i will see that we're able to enter the market with confidence yeah i hope you enjoyed this particular um analysis i'll do other analysis for other for others books yeah um this boom 500 which i will see much of the time i'll be analyzing this this market for you right now this is the present state of the market as you can see and uh, this is daily time frame want to uh the reason why i'm using the higher time frame starting my analysis from the higher time frame want to get a clear uh, direction of the market want to know the trend you know where the market is actually going you get it so right now you can see in daily time pre price has been a downtrend going to the downside yeah you should you should also know how to draw your trend line can see it. price has been a downtrend you get it okay yeah that's very very perfect i won't use my support and resistance to right here i will just switch to the four hour time frame and you know continue my analysis you get it so the four hour time frame you we, we, we can see what is happening here right now so before our time frames we also just draw the current state of the market 
so we're going to identify our key levels here right now you can see price created okay okay this is a high right here is a high that that's price created and we hope that price also uh, respects that 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 uh, that level you get it so right now you can see what price has been doing is um sorry is a high low high low higher high higher low higher high higher low higher high you know right now on the four hour time frame price is going to the upside and when price is in an uptrend we should be looking for buying opportunities you can see that right now price is going to the upside so we should be looking for buying opportunities in um boom 500 you get it let me proceed to to the next time frame for me to see what actually the price is doing clearly you get it okay we have identified that price is going to the upside and uh, so this is a clear uptrend right now on h4 h1 you get it we can also uh, involve in this market i i said i, I, I you, you you can see the spike right here this is on a one hour time frame you can see the spike right here so price is in an uptrend and whenever price is going to the upside you should be expecting more spikes and boom you get it so this is a very good you know analysis that you should you should just stick to right now and get a good uh, trading opportunity you get it i hope you enjoyed this particular analysis